You're watching Biz Asia America. I'm Owen Fairclough. Now, Sir Richard Branson set records in hot air balloons. He took the musical world by storm with the Sex Pistols among his many ventures. The next frontier is taking people into orbit with the world's first commercial space flights. But there are, cons there are concerns over the program after the Virgin Galactic spaceship crashed during a test flight last weekend. Sir Richard Branson's dream of sending paying passengers into space in pieces across California's Mojave Desert. The Virgin Galactic Spaceship 2 crashed just months before the British entrepreneur planned to be on board. But the founder of the Virgin Empire is determined to be the first passenger. We can move forward. We, we have spent many, many years building a spacecraft, a mothership, a, spa a spaceport um, that I think can do the job and, and can do the job safely. Um, but we will not start taking people until we finish a whole mass, massive series of test flights um, and until myself and my family have gone up um, and, and, and until we feel that we can um, take, you know, safely say to people we're ready to go. Air accident investigators have yet to establish the exact cause of the disaster that claimed the life of the co-pilot and injured the pilot. But their inquiry is focused on the early deployment of re-entry equipment, contradicting earlier reports that an experimental fuel mix had caused an explosion. Among other things, they found the fuel tanks, the oxidizer tanks, and the engine, and all were intact, showed no signs of burn through, no signs of, of being breached, and those will also be investigated further. There'll be the two astronauts at the front. There are questions over the financial viability of the ambitious space tourism project. Branson's Virgin Group has been funding the venture out of its own pocket. The key outside partner and financier is an Abu Dhabi investor. According to the Financial Times, launch delays have left the venture without sources of revenue. Virgin Galactic had hoped to start taking the first of around 700 pre-booked passengers, each paying $250,000 into space next spring. That timetable is now likely to be revised. Well, one better piece of news for Sir Richard this Monday. Virgin America, in which he's a part owner, the airline announced its latest profit up just under 25%. The company made just over $41 million profit in the last quarter, and it's expected to land a windfall when it makes its stock market debut here in the US in a few months' time. The company announced details of its share price and could get as much as $320 million from shareholders with a market value of around a billion dollars.